too early. Hey there, Jory here, and welcome back to Dovetail Games Train Simulator Classic, and welcome to the Crash Valley Line version 3. On this occasion, driving today from South and Victoria to London, Liverpool streets. Uh, this is a mod with routes. Yeah, that. Uh, mod with routes are available on the UK Train Sim website. Free good ones all, actually, quite a bit of detail that this route includes. And so today, taking charge of 2 kilo 73 from Liverpool streets to uh, London, so from South of Victoria to London, Liverpool Street, it's great to have your service class 3, 2, 1. This is the first Capital Connect version with the liveries all modded. And uh, yeah, it should be a really good run overall. About an hour or so from start to finish, 12 stops on routes. What I'm going to do is set the train up for departure, so mask key comes on, train forwards, leave the brakes reverse as it is, set the headlights to forwards, and doors are released on the left hand side. So let's uh, so since you show the shall we? Of course, using Third Rail's map for both the route tracking and the announcements. This is the 2K73 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street service, calling at South End Victoria. Critual. South End Airport. Rockford. Hockley. Yeah, pronunciation's a little bit off, I must admit. Villaricky. Shenfield. Romford. Stratford. London. And final destination, London, Liverpool Street. Right, so let's get going, shall we? 12 stops in total. Should take a certain hour or so to complete. We're now departing from South and Victoria. Next station today shall be Prittleswell. Next stop. Prittleswell. So now I put together for the route as well, so this is one I put together just kind of throwing some AI services, gives a bit of a route, a bit of variety, should hopefully work out quite nicely. <clears throat> uh, like I've got on Flight Sim, you can use the uh, link in the pinned comments to track the train journey, so follow along with our routes. Alternatively, on the lower right, just there, you also have an idea of the map as well, kind of where we are in real life. That was map, highly recommended. If you don't have if you don't have it and use Train Sim, it's just another little detail you can have to uh, track your journeys, really. Side at South End Victoria's uh, train siding. Train going up the hill right now, coming into its uh, terminal station. It passes a few trains and routes, gets quite busy towards London, especially when we hit the uh, overground from Shenfield onwards. <clears throat> so we'll increase up to 30 very shortly. We are now approaching the station, so unlikely we'll be slow now for that. So we're an eight car set, so I think eight car is set on at the front here. As for the route itself, most of it's working for me. The only reason I can't, the only thing I can't figure out at the moment is uh, signals. Apparently, there's no signals in this line. I know in reality there are signals, quite a few of them actually, but for some reason I could not get them to uh, work. So I might do a reinstall of sim later on. I we'll have to wait and see. I'd like to get it all fully ironed out, but for the most part, it's a functioning route, and it's, uh, it does its job pretty well. Eight car sets. I'm going to halt towards the uh, eight car stop marker. This is the 1410 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street service, calling at Pritual, South End Airport, Rockport, Hockley, Braley, Whitford, Illericke, Shenfield, Romford, Stratford. Next station after this, London, going to be uh, South End Airport. 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 Don't fly from your life at some point. Approaching. Hopefully, uh, that's kind of route that ticks it off. Problem with uh, Victoria, uh, with um, Southern Airport, is that most destinations it serves uh, long distance or kind of a bit further afield, which I could do a lot easier from the airports. Something like, say, South End to Paris, South End to Amsterdam, South End somewhere kind of relatively short. Not to open, I'll definitely be able to uh, do pretty well with that. All right, next station is South End Victoria. Next stop. South End Airport. South End Airport. Too many South Ends, I'm going to get them right eventually. South End Airport next station. Uh, hey there, Droya. Hey there, Droya here. I'm almost the best line in the world. Of course it is, dude. Of course it is. <laughs> I 
Uh, light's broken, shouldn't be. Uh, no, lights are active. We've got the daytime lights, uh, le daytime lights set, so mark on the left, which is the low level light, and then the bright light on the sensor. If I have my light sets to night's time, then it will switch the brights to the left and low to the center. And that actually allows line sight signals and signs to be more visible from the driver's cab perspective. Uh, hash PC costs about probably just under 2,000 altogether. This is the 1412 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street Service. Way too fast for uh, South End Airport. To uh, hurry, <laughs> slow down now. <laughs> not too bad, driving today. Not too bad, how are you doing? Welcome, to channel. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing today, dude? I think he might brakes now, so it's going to come to a halt regardless of my uh, position. Hopefully we're able to uh, either crawl down to the exit car stop marker, which is just that one there. Most likely we need to uh, apply a bit of power. Okay. Actually, to be fair, this train is fully in the platform. <laughs> if we're in the platform, we're in the platform. Welcome to South End Airports. And uh, best airport to some. I've got some area, I've got a few aircraft, well, quite a few GA aircraft of sand. GA Club obviously taken over with the single uh, Plain Airways Airbus A310. Let's see it stand. Stores close. Next station is. <clears throat> Hockley, isn't it? Uh, Rochford, sorry. Rochford, then Hockley. Next stop, Rockford. That's the time at the moment. We're back on time. So, part of the city, uh, South End 14.15. It's now 14.16, so not too bad timing change at the moment. Not perfect. We need to uh, try and hasten up a little bit, but. Not terribly off it at the moment. Plain Airways must have a uh, very ferries at the docks. <laughs> uh, Nifty anyone get on at Rochford to get off at South Airport. Just walk you lazy people. <laughs> Just going to have a level crossing. Just need to uh, sound the horn. Now, for next station. So, Rochford is meant to arrive at 14.18. Actually, doing a right time at the moment. We have caught up with the uh, timetable, which is pretty good. Nice and slowly, nice and steady. It's pretty close to a stop. Welcome, River. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. So, if you've been right, dude. Yeah, many new trains. Just get time to. Uh, Used to the many of the braking. The throttle itself is pretty standard, so you get used to it quite quickly. Just to find out the uh, the right kind of stopping distance for each uh, train at each station. Uh, three one, three one, uh, three two one. It's not a difficult train to drive. Separate uh, throttles and brakes. The class three sixty, which also runs this line, at least used to at one point. Uh, that one had its mass control, which made it a lot easier to control, but not bad overall. Uh, Ems rated. Gets train every day. Very good. Very very good. In general, welcome to chats. Hashtag Red Class 720s. There is a freeway modern development for uh, 720s. Pardon me. I have dinner. Pickups. Um, yeah, there is a freeway modern development at the moment. It's now for 720s. Hopefully, we get them in the not too distant future. And as soon as we do, then uh, yeah, it's without this route again because I I do quite like it. Again, it's a freeway route, freeway release. And uh, quite a fun one at that. Next stop, Hockley. Next station, Hockley. I must admit, never done this line either. Um, I've been on uh, Great Tango several times, of course, to go up to uh, Seven Airport to test Express. Uh, I also went up to Cambridge a while ago as well, but uh, never been on this particular branch of it or the uh, Crouch Valley. And the other line that goes to uh, South End, uh, South End Central, C2C. I have never been on a C2C train. 
I've never been out on Fenchurch Street, it's the only time I've never been through it. But uh, yeah, I've just never had a reason to come down this part of, uh, part of the UK before. I am soon heading to... Uh, where is it? We're heading to... Heading to... Is it Chelmsford? I think it's Chelmsford. I'm going to go see a show at, uh, later this year. But uh, yeah, I've never really had too much of a reason to come down this part of the country. Uh, for whatever reason, it's South End's true. If I ever find myself on a flight in or out of South End Airport, and of course I will need to ride it one day, but uh, hey, you never know. Maybe one day I'll find my way down this part of the country. One day I'll find myself down here for a reason. <laughs> right, miles to go. Let's buy some light break as you now approach the next station. Favorite UK routes um, on train simulator, either the Chiltern Main Line or the Underground uh, Metropolitan Line. Train Sim World, Southeast Line Speed or Great Western Express. Thank you, Jay Jackson, for bound. Thank you very much. That's your uh, train fare paid for. <laughs> Get your ticket from uh, South End, probably as far as uh, South End Naples, to be fair. Royal Christmas as well. But Jizzid, much appreciated. Thank you very, very much for the nation. You're a superstar. An eight car stop marker, so stop around this position. Yeah, it's far better stopping. Can I see the uh, screens on the screen? Oh, look, we're on backwards apparently, even full service braking. Uh, yeah, it's much, much better stopping position there, so hopefully, we'll just kind of get to off the uh, back of that. Currently boarding at Hockley. Right, so hopefully we depart at around 1422, depart at 1422, so we've got another 20-odd seconds or so until departure time. Uh, at this point, we'll then leave, kind of, well, we've got Wickford, Billericay, and then from Billericay, and then into the Great Eastern Main Line at Shenfield. Shenfield to Romford, Romford to Stratford, Stratford to London, Liverpool Street. So we've got a few more stops on the uh, on the slow line, such as branch line down to South End, but very soon we find ourselves an accelerating bit further and beyond. Uh, yes, Shenfield's where we joined the Great Eastern Main Line, that's like up to Ipswich and Norwich. Uh, thank you there, Bravo for being a sponsor, thank you very very much, Bravo, thank you, you are a superstar, welcome to uh, Economy Class Seat, thank you very much. Uh, in the railways, this will be standard class seating, so you can enter, well these trains don't have any first class seating so kind of just anywhere in the train you want dude, sit back, relax, you can feet off the seats and uh, enjoy train lines London. But thank you Revo, you are a superstar, thank you very very much. Always always appreciate the support guys, always always appreciated. Point line speed stay was out quite nicely, it's around uh, 80 miles per hour. But that'll continue pretty much all the way through to London now. I think there will be changes as we approach the junction towards Shenfield. So now, so far, so good. We're on time service. Expect to drive at Rayleigh 1426. We're three or so of driving until we uh, get our next stop.
got five miles, so now to Rayleigh, so we'll kick back on the throttle. By the time that braking, slowly and steady, we're going to train to Hulse next station. This is the 1422 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street service, calling the Rayleigh. Uh, this is, by the way, a real life timetable for this line. So we are using the real life 2 kilo 73 timetable for South and Victoria to um, Liverpool Street. Therefore, timing wise, try and keep as close to real life trains as possible. And again, so far, so good. We've not lost too much time. A little behind on the pottery out South End, but managed to catch up a bit by the time we hit uh, South, End Victoria, uh, South End South Victoria, South End Airport and uh, the following station. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Now approaching Rayleigh, form 1. Nice and steady. Now we're to a halt. So we're meant to arrive here at 14.26, now 14.25, so we've got a minute ahead of schedule at the moment. The signal up, we'll be liking this. And that making a pretty good time. But that goes in chat, how you all doing today? Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Hope you've uh, had a pretty easy week so far. To an inbound Liverpool, uh, Liverpool inbound South and Victoria service. We're mixing everything up now for us in the stream. That's a four car stop marker. We need to be towards the end to the uh, eight car marker. Yes, we are in the platform entirely, but it's kind of down to where the center train is compared to the exit and entry points where a train stop car marker will be. So we've got another 8-car service, we've got to the platform, we to do the 12-car stop marker, we shouldn't have done that, but hey-ho. Uh, welcome Kinopper to Twitch, thank you very much dude, thank you very very much, you're a superstar again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't think Twitch has classes like the YouTube side of things, I think you can always have one set of subscription on the uh, whole YouTube, so welcome to Twitch class, that means you get in the baggage hole and uh, <laughs> ride out back or something. Uh, thank you very much, dude. You are a superstar. Thank you very, very much. Alright, it's now the passing Rayleigh. Next station is Wickford. Next stop, Wickford. Uh, upgrade from the off cargo to the front cargo hold. <laughs> Very good, dude. Welcome to the front. We can actually hear you banging and screaming from underneath the floor. Uh, Wickford, our penultimate station on the uh, South End branch. Bit of will be our final station. And then as we approach Shenfield, which is about 10 minutes in front of that, we're going to need to uh, stay fully alert as we enter the main part of the Great Eastern Main Line. That seems to get quite busy on the uh, railway down here. So make sure you are fully prepared for that. So far, so good. Trains are running pretty smoothly. Despite the fact there's no line side signalling, we've had no issues and incursions just yet. Yeah, we'll be alright. Again, scenery wise, this is pretty good. I mean, for a route that's now maybe 10 years old in Train Sim, uh, as a freeware mod as well, flats off of, uh, flats off of uh, UK Train Sim, this is honestly really, really well put together. See, as well, the track's not just kind of flat and level. There's a few bumps and bounces on the terrain in front of us as well. Kind of see where the line kind of raises and drops as well. Yeah, for a freeway route, this is honestly one of the best. One of the best. Yeah, much more as well. So, up the uh, throttle, you coast it a little bit. Drop power so you keep the speed going during the uphill parts of the climb. And switch up the braking as you start going downhill on this uh, part of the line. We arrive at Wickford 1431. So, we're three minutes to expected arrival. And now, this track starts to drop. These front guy holds us pressurized and then we will survive the trip. <laughs> Very good. This is the 1420 
6 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street Service. Calling at Whitford, Billericay, Sheffield, Bromford, Stratford, London, and final destination London Liverpool Street. Now, approaching Whitford. Right. Well, let's put some braking because they're pretty quick foot. The British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it. Say it. Sort it. So they're approaching with the platform 3. Uh, if you want to see the whole route diagram in full, then actually I've got a link here in chat so you can uh, all enjoy it. And that right there. Uh, Jackson, thank you for the £2 there, thank you very much. Uh, wait for your message to pop through on my end, give me two seconds. Should I be a bit? Uh, hurts enough to get your train ticket, lol. Yep, I think that covers you pretty well. Let's actually have a look, shall we? Uh, this is Greater Anglia. Does it show full screen? No, I'll share the full screen. Wait, let me stop the train at the station and actually have a look how much the train fare costs from South Victoria to London Liverpool Street. That's 10 past 2 pm on a weekday. And of course, as a rail worker myself, it'll be a lot cheaper with the uh, staff rail discounts. But for normal person without a rail card, it can't be that expensive. I don't know, maybe five, six quid for a journey from Victoria to Liverpool Street. I could imagine it's being slightly cheaper than the C2C service, given this is a slightly slower trip. Not by particularly much, but that's only a couple minutes. Next stop. No, 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 no. Currently there we go. With bird. Right, all passengers aboard. Let's have a quick look. So, switch over to desktop mode. Enter Origin. It's going to be. Uh, South End Victoria to Liverpool Street. A single journey. We'll have to say tomorrow. That's yeah, it's a Friday time, sweet day. Parting after fourteen hundred and such. So a single journey would cost you. Told you six quid. It's almost like I work on railways, and therefore I actually have an idea of pricing. Uh, it costs six quid to get from uh, South and Victoria to London Liverpool Street, Greater Anglia. Now passing Wickford. Apparently, let me uh, rectify that two seconds. I know back up to 80 now, for this whole thing anyway. Uh, next station is Billericay. Next stop, Billericay. Uh, when we're trying to train some more 2 DLC, uh, which one? Uh, Game and Yuna, which uh, DLC? Uh, Techno Glitch, how are you doing? Welcome to the chat. Sad today, dude. How are you doing? Welcome aboard this Greater Anglia service from South of Victoria to London Liverpool Street. Uh, at this point, I'm heading towards our final station on the South End branch. Very shortly, let's enter the uh, the main Great Eastern Mainline branch. So, Shenfield will then run fast to Romford and Stratford for turning to Liverpool Street. To our right hand side, there will be local terminating services on the uh, London Overground network. Oh, Class 321, uh, is that even out yet? I thought it was coming out soon. I oh, missed the release date, I don't have to pick it up soon. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's not out yet. Could be wrong, could be wrong.
Uh, yes, driving the 321 right now, uh, Ken Hopper. This is a class 321, great train here, fellas. Might be pre order on uh, trains on Steam. Uh, I've no notification has come out yet. If it was out, it's also a bit more popular on social media. I've not seen anything about it, really. Quite a steep little bit of track climbing up on 50 gradient. It's not the steepest in the UK, that'll be up in the um, in Birmingham on the Birmingham Cross City line. So that's quite a steep bit of uphill climb this uh, approaching Villa Rookie. Two miles to the rival. Around to 70, so not too fast. This is the 1431 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street. That's the Tanoido's announcement for us. Villa Rookie meant to arrive at 1437, it's now 1435 again. Two minutes or so to travel a mile. Travel at 65. Can't the throttle on that train slow down naturally, we're going uphill. Doing pretty good for time at the moment. So we reach the top of the hill. Half hour to go to our next station. Anywhere when the uh, when the when the what's it called the the next one on Train Simulator comes out, that'll be a day one drive for us. Don't you worry, we're not going to uh, completely drop Train Simulator. I adore that sim. I really, really think it's fantastic. One of my favourites. I like Train Simulator because of the third row map compatibility. This map here you get to uh, really enjoy. Well, it's a lot. If the music compatible Train Sim, then I Train Simulator would love to uh, probably love to do it. I've just had dinner now, so I'm really, really happy. <laughs> but uh, until then, we'll do a bit of a mix of Train Sim World Train Simulator. So, you know, actually, the last stream was Train Sim World during the train strikes. Uh, that's it, train strikes coming soon, actually, so another day off work coming up for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, like I say, for, my, for most rail workers, we don't particularly want to strike. So, last resort, we'd rather just be at work, do what we need to do, and have at the end of the day. So along with the, uh, the pawns of the government, we've got to do unfortunately. Wait for chaps to uh, eventually go turn out and speak to the unions. Welcome to Billericay. Currently boarding at Billericay. Some very, very good stations to land as well on this route. Very good station lines. This is the footbridge I imagine that comes off the uh, house the top of these two buildings that connects two together. On platform level, it fits quite nicely actually. And then we have a past bridge that connects across two buildings. Bridge in the centre there, a couple of roads, a couple of buildings, a couple of shops. Honestly, it's one of the uh, better runes on this better routes on this uh, on this sim. And again, it's freeware. The only great main on if you have other requirements as well. It's not particularly a difficult route to get your hands on. Right, let's, uh, let's go for the old Great Eastern Main Line now. Next stop, Shenfield. There's a whistle board, right? Uh, yeah, whistle board. Oh, yeah, it's another crossing, so it's there for a reason. Nice and gently, green train down this hill. It's going to be an increase to 80 miles per hour as soon as the red train hits the uh, speed board there. Let's increase throttle. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, 
Uh, likewise, if you don't see, see me drive any other routes and train sim, then uh, give us a shout. Tell me what routes you want me to do, what scenarios you want me to do. If you want to do train sim world classic or tra sorry, train sim less classic or train sim world, give me a shout. If there's anything you guys in particular want to see in train sim, let me know and I'll uh, do it at some point. I want to reintroduce Saturdays as my train sim day, so Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday are fight sim, Thursday is train sim. And uh, yeah, if there's something you guys want me to, to do or want to see me uh, get involved in, just give me a shout and I'll uh, be sure to do it. I'm open for ideas, I'm up for a lot of things. Just uh, give us a shout in the garden. Alright, bring that throttle, then approaching 80 miles per hour. The track's relatively straight, drop down to 60 mile and a half so we enter the junction for the GME EL. You can see that on the map on the right hand side now. Uh, yeah so as we enter that go for a slow down the junctions, slow down for Shenfield and then increase the speed as we steam towards London. It's now kind of to 40 past about halfway through the journey at this point. We stopped at eight of our stations already. Four more to go. At this point, it's a bit more distance between our stops as most of the commuter stations, most stations on the right hand side, served by the commuter local stop trains. Uh, Shenfield, we are set to arrive at 14.42. Not two minutes to go for that. As soon as you hold above 60. Five and a half, should get there pretty much on time. And that branch on the right, that takes you up and over the uh, over the G now to the slow lines. Sorry, it goes under and then around. Okay, so it's shot down to 60, we should have done that a little bit earlier on, but it's not the end of the world. It's just 10 miles per hour over, we can slow down for quite quickly. Now approaching Shenfields. This is the 1437 South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street Service. Calling at Shenfield, Rockford, Stratford, London, and final destination London Liverpool Street. Now, approaching Shenfield. Right, civilization now visible to us. This is the terminating point of. I made an error. <laughs> when I created a scenario, I used to have overground trains, not Elizabeth Line trains, because again, there's no Elizabeth Line train sim yet. So I've used the uh, 378 Capital Stars, not uh, three one. Uh, is it 345? Is that one on this line above overground? All the notes, I've used the wrong train. So, yes, yeah, so on the right side, you're going to now see overground trains throughout the rest of the journey. That is incorrect. They should be Elizabeth flying TFL rail trains. That's uh, me not doing the route correctly. Not the end of the world. I mean, they're virtually the same service, overground and um, TFL rail. They provide the same thing. They're owned by TFL and they provide overground services. I just uh, put the wrong trains down the wrong tracks. See? <laughs> It's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the world, it's just one type of train. Right, port the platform, welcome to Shenfield. We're about two and a half minutes early now, so we'll stop here for a few moments. We also had this uh, incorrect train get down the wrong track, I don't know, maybe TFL had some issues with their services and had to kind of throw some spare trains down the line. That's what we're going to say, that's what we're going to call it. Also, it's to Euston apparently in Richmond, definitely not this part of the line. In fact, it's Euston and Richmond not even on the same terminus. It's uh, what for DC out of, uh, out of Euston. Uh, Richmond, it goes to Stratford, I think. Could be wrong about the second one though. Anyways, we're at uh, Shenfield, at the end of the TFL rail. At this point, now we're going to run alongside commuter trains all the way into central London. A few siding depots to our uh, left hand sides. Well, 
obviously at some point in history this was a much greater depot, much bigger scale. See, it was built for my railway buildings here. Now it's from the railway line, not the part of just the Royal building now, but uh, at some point this would have been a quite a large railway depot and siding, used by a couple of railway lines that used simply as their initial terminus at the edge of London. Uh, at this point, so we're going to ride alongside the Elizabeth line. I don't see if I map on me, so I can't retire the station. Let's change grab up on the uh, on Google. So uh, we will be. I can't see that now, actually. Fifty miles per hour speed limit at this point. So let's go for that. Uh, right. So station line right on the end. We we'll go through. Uh, Shenfield, Brentswood, ha Harold Woods, Gidea Park, Romford, which we stop at, uh, Chadwell, Heath, Goodmaze, Seven Kings, Ilford, Manor Park, Forest Gates, Maryland, Stratford, which we stop at, and London, Liverpool Streets. Initially up to 45, sorry, up to 30, 50, to 90 for the rest of the stretch. Next stop, Romford. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text. The uh, yes, I see the YouTube chat. Uh, oh, I think I see the YouTube chat. And I see, oh, it's stopped. We'll sort it. Sorry about that. My see chat it. thing stopped. I should be able to be a bit quiet today. Uh, let me catch up with YouTube chat, sorry, what happened? Um, flights, flights will plan out tomorrow, I haven't decided yet. Uh, don't want to work on Monday, okay, choose your mother, get someone else needs them. Very good, amazing line, very, very good. Uh, train simulator added Hicksville section of the Long Island Railroads, very good, so I'll check that out soon. Uh, when hasn't jumped off from Jamaica to NYC subway? Station Sutton Boulevard, the next there'll be two level station as low levels closed. Uh, you know, asking why. So, 1st of July, until September this year, they're replacing the train rails with an aging concrete, which affects the original terminal. Interesting, okay. So, I say I'm going to New York in s September and spend eight days in America. So, my point of entry will be New York JFK, and I'll definitely be going in from. I'm going in from the the air rail bits, the really expensive, costly. I mean, there's always going to be a bus out as well, but I'll go on the air rail, air track down to uh, Jamaica and Jamaica on the railroad into New York uh, Penn, which I'm quite excited for. So that'll be my plans for soon. Uh, now passing through Brentwood. Uh, nope, if you need to link your, uh, for member role, uh, Revo, you need to link your YouTube accounts to your uh, Discord accounts, and it's automatic. If I did it manually, if you haven't linked your YouTube to Discord, it then automatically removes it, because it doesn't know that you're do the same. So yeah, if you're on Discord and a member, make sure that your YouTube accounts links to your Discord accounts and your account settings, and then everything should do automatically. Now, go another fake TFL real overground train. Yeah, it should be on the other lines. It should be pink, not orange. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the YouTube chat just died on me. It's very odd. It's not done that before, that's for sure. I mean, it's still active, so it's not lost connection or anything like that. It's just decided, nope, don't do it anymore. So it's, uh, it's gone on strike, YouTube twat chat. It's gone on. Uh, it's gone on strike. Uh, terminates on 121st Street. Uh, stage passengers frequently ride the trains that are currently closed to ride the J9 Sunshine Service bus. Very good. Uh, where would you find a route? It's available on uh, UK Train Sim. Let me drop you a link to it now. Just be aware, it does require about 24 hours of download because the UK Train Sim site's are really, really slow for the server. And they're upgrading at some point, the guy who owns it. It's a good guy. I've talked to him. He's been a bit quiet recently. Um, yeah, it does require a hefty bit of downloading, but that's in chats is the. Uh, Link to Crash Valley. So I'm 
continue speeding along the uh, outskirts of London, now passing through Harold, Hill, uh, Harold Wood. Next station we stop at is Romford, first arrival, 14.53, another five minutes to go until we reach our new state, next station. Uh, got your download in an hour. You went to South Coast, boring to be honest. Uh, I don't mind the Banty South. It's, uh, it's not right route for me. It does its job. Because that's uh, London Euston to Birmingham New Street. Which is a line I've been on several times in real life. It's probably the most frequent main line I ride on as a passenger in real life. Because London to Birmingham is kind of just the line we will go on. So, still I'm very familiar with at least. <coughs> Uh, I have got Eurotrack Train 2, I don't really stream it too much. Uh, do I use the ID your hearts? I believe I do, yes. I believe I do. We should down now, because there's 68 up to 90 again. So it seems to change every so often here. Very peculiar. Uh, now approaching Romford, so very soon, start our slow approach. Oh, the default 2 2, yeah, no, the default 2 2 1, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, the voyages in the sea aren't great. If you've got Lantern Powerhouse and Hotton Pack, it's definitely worth picking up. If you don't, it'll be a bit lacking sometimes. Another false train, because I just put the scenario together wrong, forgetting about which trains are on which line. David, how are you? I'm not too bad myself. Not too bad. Off to work tomorrow again, so I've had my two days of rest day. Back to work, another seven shifts late turn where I am. And so of course, prepare myself for working on trains tomorrow by driving virtual trains. <laughs> Coming in nice and early for Romford. It was a pretty good amount of time on this one. Uh, run from our left, that's the uh, Emerson Branch Line that runs between Emerson Park, sorry, Emerson Park uh, Branch Line, which runs between Romford, Emerson Park, and Upminster. So it's two stations, three stations branch, connects to two main lines. It was originally a shuttle service for freight and workers who lived down the line. Nowadays, it's a line that no one particularly wants to run, hence, Overground Twin just given it. For the sake of, here's a train line, nobody else wants it, you got to run it because it's a serviceable train line. So something they can't get closed down. Could run as parliamentary, but it has enough demands that it runs a regular service, once now both ways. It's a little shuttle train that goes both directions. I have ridden it once, just to have a look at what was at Amazon Park. Honestly, it's quite a lot of uh, rich houses and uh, Nando's down the road, which I uh, went to eat at. Right, welcome to... Romford. Currently boarding Romford. Yeah, a few missing assets. I don't know which assets I'm missing, because everything is all pretty much correctly for me. There's a few uh, few details that for some reason I just can't find, which is slightly annoying, it is a shame. It's not the end of the world. Right, so I'm free to parts here at 14.53, doors are closed on about 20 seconds. Uh, be good if they added the modern Great Western Main Line or Paddington, Penzance, Paddington, Oxfield, that'd be good, I'm trying to sim. Uh, I mean, it's taken a lot of time to do, but I'd love to see it, so I'd love to see it. Uh, unlike renovations which occur, usually these stations are at Century Yard, including Agent Concrete, two stations currently closed have been around for 33 years. Oh, really? Only 33 years? Station last 33 years? That's pretty poor of a plan, I must admit. The messages you care about 150 odd years old, 200 years old. But, uh. Cool, Rave, you're the third person saying the stream that you live at South End now. I mean, I know my viewers live in, uh, Leeds, Bristol, Tunisia, and Finland. Oh, does everyone live in South End as well? Is that my next location for a Droya meetup? The Droya World Tour, featuring. Three cities in the UK and Tunisia and Finland. <laughs> uh, not too bad, Tim Valley. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to chat. Hope you've been right. I'm surprised. Only 33 years. It's uh, not a particularly great 
lifestyle for a, for a railway line. Uh, Tixies in Cambridge, actually it was Cambridge a couple of weeks ago, went to um, went via Cambridge to get to uh, Ducksville Air Museum, or to do the, uh, the, uh, what's it called, it's the old biplane I went on, which crashed a couple of weeks ago actually. The uh, de Havilland Dragon Repeat. The Dragon Repeat. It's a shame when it crashed. Uh, it hit the news. Uh, during landing, it hit a strong bit of turbulence and ultimately hit the runway at high Stratford, speed. Uh, Sand Mission World, you're not far from Clapham, Victoria. There's another one. <laughs> Everyone's from South End today. Everyone's from South End. Next station Stratford arriving at 15.02, another 8 minutes to arrive at that station. Uh, pretty much done with the new Ealing Broadway, still been the coffee shop, uh, but that's actually given that there'll be a Starbucks across the road, very good. Yeah, Ealing Broadway's been, been in works for years now. Um, I remember I pass through, I pass through Ealing Broadway every so often when I go on the uh, Grosso Main Line. And uh, yeah, that's actually been on the redevelopment for years. It'd be nice to, uh, nice to find to see the scaffolding all removed. Uh, near Roots Hall. Near Roots Hall, sorry. Very good. Uh, surprised to hear that these stages in half century or two. Must have been not built correctly. They've been deteriorating already. Interesting, interesting. Uh, now passing through a trio of stations Chattel Heath, shortly followed by Good Maze and Seven Kings. One of you is from Aberdeen. Oh yes, David. I'll get Aberdeen. Just the one viewer though. Just the one viewer. I've also got one viewer up in there in the Ness. But that's about it. Uh Logan, how are you doing? Please let's see here, how are you doing? Not too bad today myself, how are you doing? Welcome channel, welcome to chat. I'm seeing good mates on the left hand side of well, very much abandoned railway uh Railway everything to be there. Tracks still in place, platforms still in place, railway sheds still in place. The entire P way is uh, still there, just uh, abandoned left the rocks. Track beds still in place, routes still in place, bridges still in place. There are signals in place too, which I can't see because of course this route doesn't have any. Now passing it through Seven Kings. <laughs> Nightball, Nightball, so you mentioned Aberdeen, it was like, nope. <laughs> uh, yes, the route has a new running stock, Chris Torch, no one's developed it of Trend Sim. There's a mod being developed at the moment for the, three, uh, for the 720s, but until that comes out, I'm going to think it's the older running stock, which isn't the end of the world, it's just, what, a year old, basically, so. Outdated, yes, but not by particularly long. It depends how much you want to know about fine detail, really. To 70 now, going way too fast just for our speed limits. Uh, passing through Ilford. I'm going to back up to 90 now, speed limits change again. Uh, TS, is TS Classic the Forget 22? Uh, it's not Simulation Worlds, so they're both. I uh, like Train Sim, do every other rebranded again, so Train Sim 2020, Train 21, Train 22. Train Sim 2023 is now Train Simulator Classic. Train Sim World is different to Train Simulator. But anything Train Simulator is one game, anything Train Sim World is the other. I just want to wait to differentiate between the two. Is it World or is it Simulator? But Train Simulator Classic is the same as 22, just with the 23 updates. Also, it meant to be the last rebrand of it, so there'll be no more kind of name changes every year. There will also be updates and support new routes, but they won't rebrand it every single year like they uh, used to do. So it's better to, mind of, it's better to kind of relax now for these events. And more updates pushed every uh, so often. Now, there's actually a DRS 57, uh, 57 that you didn't want to catch uh, through your ceilings, you wanted to film 165 leaving. Radio 165? I mean, 165 is possibly in Broadway every single day. Also, why am I on the uh, the overground tracks? Um, you yeah, know, 165 is possibly leaving Broadway every single day. I'm surprised you uh, took that as priority over DRS 57. Very surprised. Something was changed without actually informing me. I'm going to tick there, so now 70. Oh, 
now down to 50 apparently. Well, I can see it's got to 50, uh, down to 70 in a little while. Interesting uh, speed limit changes. Uh, you got a train simulator, had a classic version, it's automatic updates. You don't need to do anything, it should update automatically, train simulator, train sim classic. Now approaching Stratford. Even see it, it was another IT, but once I was to go through in Broadway. Um, well, yeah, because uh, what's the head code? There's a train, I know, I know every single day because, um, so when it comes to the green, when it comes to the Greenford branch on Great, on Great Western, the Greenford branch is run by a class 165 shuttle service between West Ealing and uh, Greenford, but every day it's four times a day pass through. You have the 04... I can never remember the 0431, I believe it is. Uh, which runs through from Reading to form the morning, the first train that runs from Paddington to Greenfield and West Sea Shuttle. In the afternoon, they then make a switch, and they bring another Class 165 to replace the morning 165. Uh, the morning 165 then runs a stopper service back to Reading, while the Reading runs a stopper back to Paddington. Do their shuttle service, and then in the evening, the second 165 runs back to Reading as a stopping service. So every day there are four class 165 trains that call it uh, West uh, Ealing Broadway. And they're the two trains that form the Greenford Shuttle. So they're not as rare as you think. They run every single day. I mean, it's a common train out there, but they are scheduled to run every single day. So when they're tomorrow, figure out what times the uh, Greenford trains run through and be golden really. Welcome to Stratford. The maintenance uh, Stratford very good. There you go, an overground service on the Crex platform, because this one actually forms as an overground train. <laughs> yeah, whoopsie, well, this is one, if you see overground trains, actually no, it wouldn't be accurate anyway, because they run to Liverpool Street, they run into, um, then in... Uh, from Trafford, overground runs into, uh, Ears Richmond, so actually yeah, they get that a bit correct. Right, door secure, parting now. Next stop. London Liverpool Street. If you see something that doesn't Oops. look right, speak to staff or text the Looking British there. Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it. Say it. Oh, no power it. just uh, thought it was there, but trains are moving now, so we'll carry on. Uh, next station, final station at London and Liverpool Street. Uh, would you rather. Drive a train for a whole week, or fly a plane for a whole week, or any plane train of your choice. Difficult to say, because I, I enjoy driving trains and flying planes. It's uh, it's difficult. I'd probably say, is it also is this in real life technical glitch, or is this in simulator actually? Big difference depending on which one it is. Is it real life? What's power again? Interesting. We're going to have to go a train failure, are we? So time my trains cut power. And real life, and it'd be flying an aeroplane, definitely. I enjoy train travel, I already do, but with an aeroplane, you see the whole world. Train in the week, you probably get as far around as Europe if you're a star. But uh, yeah, the aeroplane gives you a bit more, a bit more range, a bit more variety. If you're a simulator, trains. Uh, I use this to kind of practice my train driving, get better at it. But, uh, yeah. So 
that a signal? Wow, that's the first signal I've seen this entire scenario. And we're already most of the way into London at this point. <laughs> okay, another service on our right hand side. Uh, to accurate this small line, it needs to be still outside the LS for at least 20 minutes, not being informed of any reason for a delay. True, that is very true. Well, no, no, as a rail worker, I, I disagree. Sorry, if I was a passenger still, then yes, but I don't know. I guess it depends on the scenario, really. I mean, I'll tell you now, as a rail worker, signal failure, I had to say a one under or a train of in front. Depends on how serious the incident is, really, to determine like, how quickly we'll say out what the problem is. It's, uh, no, it depends on depends really on what the problem is and what the expected amount of delay will be. Uh, recently, I was on a train. I won't say which train, which line, and which where where I was, but we were held at a red signal for 26 minutes, and that was because in the train in front of us was a stabbing on board, and so they had to put red signal down the entire line, get the police to the train station, and then evacuate the passenger off the uh, service quickly and safely so yeah it depends on what the problem is really on that occasion they just announced that it was an issue was well, an issue was a med medical emergency followed by a police incident but uh, digging around and yeah, eventually it turned out there was a stabbing on train in front so yeah it depends really on what the issue is and uh, severity of it uh, I went to the NR service from Kings Cross Newcastle it was amazing uh, apparently it caused the works I think uh, this was seven seven hours. Ooh, seven hours to Waverley. Now that's that's long. I'm sorry. Did, did the driver change throughout the shift? Because I imagine that went over the uh, driver's daily driving limits. Say for a train journey of that length, seven hours. Ouch. Yeah, I'd not want to be on that train. That's for sure. At least if you're delayed on the airplane, you got more time on the airplane than on the train. You'd rather be outside of that train. Right, now approaching platform 8 of London Liverpool Street. Uh, have you heard of Influence Flight? I have, yes, I have put up mobile. Decent little, train si uh, decent little plane sim. Not to use it from time to time. Never streamed it, but have got it. South End Victoria to London Liverpool Street service. Calling at London Liverpool Street. Now. Approaching London Liverpool Street. Yeah, uh, once again, apparently. There's a, basically, there's a, there's a trip cop that we keep testing off. Well, that's an abandoned station left outside the abandoned platform. Never remember that station, but it's abandoned and closed. I keep hitting trip cops throughout. Uh, red signals, apparently. Proof plus danger. Down. Change, please. This train terminates here. Please remember all of your belongings. We thank you for traveling with Greater Anglia. Dean. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it. Cool, see that's it. quite a tight little time, that. Very tight. As the carriages don't detach, look at that. <laughs> Very tight little angle, that.
Oh yeah, platform 8, that's the platform we're going into now. That's the uh, outbound service since we arrive. Sixteen fourteen service, we're uh, away apparently. There we have it, there's our rights. Rights only. Plus, uh, yeah, that's zero. Yeah, at this point, we now uh, should have down. As soon as that timer uh, gets to the end of the line, we'll bring it up again. I don't know anymore. Eventually, the scenario should just come to an end and be like, congrats, you've reached the end of the scenario. But for some reason, I want to uh, get to appear. I don't know. If it works, it works. It doesn't, it doesn't. Let's quickly finalize the route on Federal's map. Ah, there we go. Uh, route. So, route is. I need it on the screen so I see what I'm doing. So I just share desktop. So this was Crouch Valley 3 Great Eastern. Scenario was Sov to. It's not live, it's actually uh, ST for streets. Country United Kingdom. Uh, source URL is going to be Ocean Valley UKTS. Yes. Cool, so if you guys have the Theros map, you can now basically look at our routes available, just kind of, you know, we get on the advanced uh, stuff. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, so that is the end of that. So that's Crash Valley 3. That was a run from South End Victoria to Liverpool Street. Pass through 2 1. Apparently, we didn't stop at six stations. Probably just stopped the wrong position or something like that. But he's about to break eight times. Kind of break the G. Didn't do great, didn't we? Drove 41 miles to get out of the total. But uh, yeah, a better run over that. A uh, little behind schedule on a few stations, but nothing too much off. Nice and good overall. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, so the plan is now, we'll be back on Flight Sim again on Saturday. I'm working tomorrow so I can't do much stream the way stream tomorrow. Oh look, we're back on the uh, YouTube strand apparently on this. Very odd. Uh, but yeah, back in tomorrow, uh, back in on Saturday for some Flight Sim. Uh, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Do subscribe to us already. Thank you very much for uh, watching. And I'll see you guys soon for some more train sim action. Uh, yeah, that's it. The plan is, if it works, every Thursday try and do a train sim stream, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday is flight sim, and then anything else we can have to replace the day, or just pick an extra, like, Friday or Tuesday. Cool. Till then, thanks for watching, you take care, and I'll see you soon for some more train sim action. Take care, have a good evening. Bye-bye.